We kick off the show with the star set up premiere of the movie 76, directed by Izuojuku. Please enjoy, but watch out for flash photography. Nollywood movie 76 becomes a toast of town at its long awaited Nigerian premiere, which held in Lagos, attracting several celebrities and public figures from different walks of life. In the movie, lead actress Rita Dominic plays Susie, a military captain's fiancée who is caught up in a web of intrigue following an attempt to save a baby's father. A sight to be old, she steps onto the carpet in a bedazzled, iconic in Vanity number. I'd never done a period film before, shooting, 19, shooting 76, and um, the fact that my character was a very, it was a very emotional role, and I had to stay in that emotional space for as long as six months because that's how long it took us to film, you know? And um, you see, for me, I think I'm at a point in my career where I just like to do characters that are very outside the box, characters that are totally different from me in real life. Um, that's how I, I learn from playing those kinds of characters. I get to see life through the eyes of other people. Zimbabwean actress Memory Sivanhu, a castmate who plays Eunice, a pampered wife of a soldier in the Izuojuku directed movie was among the most gaily dressed at the event. She says the quality of the movie, which took about seven years to make, was worth the stress. We were on set for a very, very long time. Honestly, at some point, it was very stressful. Even among the cast and crew and everybody, we were just like, you know what? We've just had enough. But. When you see what we're about to show you, it's mind-blowing, honestly. It's, for me, I think that's the best film that has ever been made in Nigeria. So all the stress that we went through, I think it's worth it. Ramzi Noor, who played the soldier wrongly accused of participating in a coup d'etat, makes a case for women who bear the brunt of decisions made in the military circle. Today in Nigeria, which is Black Africa's biggest and richest nation and the world's eighth largest oil producer. The women are majorly suffering the, you know, the aftermath of whatever happens to their husband as a soldier. And that, that's heart-wrenching when you look at them. You know, most of these women who are just left with their kids, sometimes they... They move them out of the barracks and stuff like that. You know, the pain, the emotional trauma they go through, it's not easy. And that's just one for one arm of a family in our society. There's so many families like that where, even, even to our culture, you know, a man dies and because the wife didn't give birth to boys, the family comes and takes away everything and leave the woman and the, and the girls all hanging loose. Times have changed, you know. There were times when, okay, that was... I'm capable, but it's a new generation in Terran. So it's, I think it's more like an eye opener now that people should start to see, understand. Times have changed. This, there should be, there should be emotion, the emotional attachment to these things. It, it's heart wrenching when you see people like that, you know, suffering all that trauma. 76 paints a fictitious love story around the notorious coup of 1976, which led to the assassination of the then head of state, General Murtala Mohammed. Celebrity guests at the premiere were expecting a walk down memory lane. I'm hoping to see something really good tonight. Uh, I'm hoping to see my people perform. Heard so much buzz about the movie and it's about time to see. And um, pretty much it's about time we start writing about stories like this. It's about time we start bringing things like this to life, you know, to you know, enable the youth of our world to actually see things instead of reading about it and not getting a full perspective. But now that you see it on TV, you know who played what, you know the kind of situation the person was in to have such experiences. So yeah, so I'm guessing that they did a great job. I mean, the turnout already, as you can see, is fully booked. So I'm guessing we're going to have a great, night, a great time tonight. Director Izuojuku hopes the movie will help Nigerians appreciate their history. What we're trying to do is tell stories around historical event and make them appealing to this generation. That's the reason for 76. And then also, uh, we, 76 highlights the plight of the officer's wife. Uh, they often neglected the uh, people in the society. We, of, we celebrate soldiers sometimes, but uh, their wives are actually the true hero. So this is a way of bringing into light one aspect of a particular set of people in our lives that we often neglect. Following warm reception at the Toronto and London International Film Festivals, Stakeholders in the Nigerian movie industry also approve of the timepiece, 
lauding it as a big step forward for the industry. I think uh, it's taking Nollywood a notch higher, uh, which is in line with what the trend we're seeing with our movies these days, because uh, it's going to the cinema and uh, it's, 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 it's going to be one of the Nollywood films that will, uh, how do I put it now, make people to believe more in the industry. Some believe the story also reveals an emotional attribute of the Nigerian soldier. Soldiers are human, human beings. They're, they're like us. They're like everybody else. Um, they have a job and they do their job. So um, I think that we shouldn't... I know there's a, there's a perception that um, soldiers are a particular kind of way, but I have, I have enough friends in the military, in the forces, who, who are amazing people, really great guys and, and, and women. What you see is a uh, no-nonsense, or what you call a group of no-nonsense people. And yeah, you still see that in this movie. Um, I mean, the law is law. You obey before you have any reservation or anything to say. So yes, that's part of um, the make of being in the army. Um, but then, 76 is a great movie. 10,000 innocent public officials have been dismissed because they have no voice. We're soldiers. It's our duty to make sacrifices. How can you say don't you the fuck is a girl when everybody is enjoying it? I don't know any member of your family and I am already pregnant for you. There's no need for you to be scared. You know how much I love you. We continue to suffer in silence out of sheer loyalty to this nation. And this is your best way to handle this. This guy is a snitch. We shouldn't take any chances. What am I to you? Shut up! Respect for me, not my family. I am yet to see the family of yours that deserves the respect. You